Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Worship Gunner. And uh, today we were going to jump right into Sector D, or Area D, but I just remembered that we have a little bit of money left over for tech. Uh, we can do probably just one thing of tech, yeah. Let's try weapons. No. Electronics? Engine? Uh, uh, engine. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Well, I guess we are going to jump straight into Sector D, because that took a walking, uh, whopping 34 seconds to figure that out. So, yeah. Defend unto death. Guard the straight for 300 seconds. Wait, which straight? I didn't see it on the map. Crud. I missed it. The next objective for mission command is to defend the straight. What straight? It's... Was it near Africa? I forgot. We I didn't see it. We must protect our current defensive perimeter from the attack of the Empire fleet. If they pass this point, the destruction of the FF is inevitable. It is the last line of defense. So you just you just picked a random latitude and was like, if they pass this latitude, we're screwed. We must okay. Move quickly. Yep. Well, I didn't get any new engines from my uh, my tech research, so you know that quickly thing. Yeah, sorry, but. We'll make do. 35 knots on a ship with this many guns of this size and caliber is not bad. So, we'll take it. Warship Gunner 2 is seriously so much easier. Like, you... Unless you've played this game and Warship Gunner 2, you cannot possibly understand the level to which Warship Gunner 2 is easier. So, yeah. And for those of you who have played both games, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's much easier to just grind for money and have, like, a battleship by the second mission. And it's not even that hard. Like, it doesn't even take too long. So, yep. I know, because I've done it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's really not hard. Now, Naval Ops Commander is extremely difficult, because you don't get any money in those missions. You have to work for it. Like, they... They don't give you hand-me-outs like this game and Warship Gunner 2 do. And you might look at this and say, well, unless you get S-Ranks, you don't get hand -me -out or handouts. And you're kind of right, but at the same time, relative to uh, Naval Ops Commander, everything in this game is a handout. It's just just super free, easy, uh, super easy, super easy free money in this game and Warship Gunner 2. Although you might not think so now. When we get to Worship Gunner 2, I mean, uh, Naval Ops Commander, you'll see what I mean. Yes, I know. Stop shooting your stupid thingies at me. Your missiles or whatever. Rockets, something. Albany class. Are they even hurting that much? I don't know. It's hard to tell. If they're not hurting that much, I don't want to lose accuracy shooting at them, you know? But I can't tell how much damage they're doing exactly. Uh, 63, that's not bad. We can take a few of those without having to worry about it. Now, torpedoes, on the other hand, yeah. 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 We are gonna have to do something about those. I hope that transport didn't drop survivors, because that's one more thing I gotta turn around for. He did not. Oh, hull breach. Goody. Wait. Do we or don't we? Because I don't see a status issue up right now. Oh, these are guided torpedoes. Too bad they're not extremely smart guided torpedoes. In fact, they're heading back for their own ships right now. I think a few of them hit their own ships. That's pretty funny. Um, even their torpedoes aren't hurting that much, actually. Which is kind of weird, but... Um, hi there, transport. You can just die. And, uh... What did they say? 300 seconds? So five minutes? We're supposed to just... Defend? Okay, I can do that. Um, there's probably... Yeah, it's just a transport. Uh, we got some parts here. I hope they don't spawn, like, right next to that line while I'm all the way up here. Oh, goody. Yeah, aircraft. Coming from uh, the big island to the northeast. I think. I see dots moving around over there. And they're kind of multiplying a little bit. So, yeah, I assume that's where the aircraft are coming from. 
Come here, you transport. Yeah, last one got it. Survivors? Please, no survivors. Yay, I don't have to sail all the way over there. Where, where, okay, so where are the aircraft coming from, and are they an actual threat? Because... No, I don't see... Okay, there's a few, yeah. But they're not doing anything. So... Um... I'll, I'll just, I'll just go over here and drop anchor. And, uh, yeah. Well, now they're out there in the middle. <clears throat> Oh no! A plane crossed X latitude. Let's. Oh god! The the war is over. We just lost because they crossed this this given latitude. Wait, we have friendly stuff back there. What? We do. Hi guys. They look like destroyers though. So, their usefulness is up for questioning, but. Uh, We'll make do. Missiles. Boom. Um, which missile? Oh, which plane did that go for? Oh, the one all the way over there that's running away. And uh, get him! Yeah, there we go. I use the missiles because they're more accurate. Um, the thing that makes Warship Gunner 2 so stupid easy is the fact that um. Getting an S rank is as simple as do all of the objectives and kill all the things. Accuracy doesn't matter, health doesn't matter, just do all the objectives and kill all the things. Or most of the objectives and kill most of the things, and that's that's how you get an S rank. Now, unfortunately, S ranks don't help you um, get any more money. They don't give you any kind of money bonus, but, you know, you still get the nice rewards for an S rank. And there's a mission. Hooray. Request withdrawal. Can we... Oh, we have to actually leave manually. Um, okay. Well, we'll just head up this away, and I will see you guys in a second when we get up there. This sector. Yes, please, let's go. We finished that mission easily enough. We were able to successfully defend the strait. This is the first FF victory since the start of Operation Everglance. Now the time has come to begin our counterattack. Wasn't defeating that last super ship kind of a victory though? Like it caught off it caught us off guard and it almost screwed us over, but we killed it in just well, two attempts on a single deployment. So that was a victory and that was just last mission, right? I mean, does that not count for anything? Oh well. Radar 5? I don't know what radar I have on my ship, but I'm going to go look now because I really want the best radar I can get. we got a lot of parts crates. S rank, 550000 extra dollars. Fire and delay system 6. Heck yeah. I don't think I have that on my ship. I can almost guarantee that I don't. So that'll be sweet. Let's go check that out. Um, as soon as it loads. Okay. So, we'll do tech, and then we'll go check everything at once. Weapons, electronics, metallurgy, let's go. What do we got? Gas turbine, four. Fire extinguisher, four. Hull perch, four. Oh. That was de uh, depressing a little bit. But uh, anyways, we're going to head over to design and see what I have on my ship, because it's been so long that I don't remember. Excuse my yawning. Um... I don't remember what systems I have on here. No, 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 auxiliary. I have radar four, so we want to replace that with radar five. I have firing delay three, we're gonna jump straight up to firing delay six. Auto load five, yeah, that's the best one of that. Electronic four, electronic targeting four. EM shield three, yep. Hull purge, we did just get a new hull purge. Hull purge four. But how much does it cost? Uh... Nope. Hmm... What was it, defensive? Uh... Uh... Four. Yeah, that... That's... That's actually... That's a lot. 26%? That's a lot. I'll take that. 20,000... Funds, but that's not too bad. So we're gonna go auxiliary, 
Replace emergency hole purge with emergency hole purge four. There we go. Equipment. Um, oh yeah, now I remember why I was using these bridges. They're small, and that was a very big deal, because the issue I kept running into was bridges that were way too big. <sighs> okay. Done. Well, if I cut the episode now, it'd be really stupid short, so I'm not going to do that. Um, as much as I don't like to have to, we're going to have to stop the mission, or stop the episode in the middle of the next mission, but we can at least get it started. Mission D2, Top Brass Rescue. Rescue the FF Commanders. Guys, we have enough work to do without you guys getting captured. Okay. Reading communication from Mission Command. This ship is to be deployed for a rescue mission. Certain key FF commanders were captured by the Empire during Operation Everglance. No. Why? Our agents have already released these commanders. You are to pick them up at these points and take them safely out of the area. Okay. The counterattack has begun. Prepare to get underway. Good luck. Counterattack by us or by them? Like, do we have guys attacking their stuff as a distraction? Or... Are they counterattacking against us? What? How does this work? How? What's going on? Well, I don't know. I just sail blindly into combat and blow up other ships. Well, good enough. That'll do. That'll do, big. That'll do. <sighs> okay, let's go. It didn't crash. Hooray. Makes my life a little easier. Uh, it makes, well, editing a little easier. So yeah, it's not our ships doing the counterattacking. They're counterattacking us. Which is fine, because we're very good at killing them. Sorry if you can hear the dog barking in the background, there's probably someone here. One moment. Okay, sorry about that. Someone is uh, here, and that's why he was going absolutely insane. Um, yeah. Continuing on. Sinking ships, parts, and funds, both of which I like. We are going to... There's no time limit, right? Objective. Uh, open the objective? Oh, just rescue them. There's no time limit, so I'm just going to go around and sink these guys. Because S rank. S ranks are good. We want money, so we can do tech. Because at this level of the game... Uh, doing tech, as you can see, or as you have seen, doesn't actually get you very far anymore. You have to do a lot of tech before you get any significant upgrades. So, we have to focus on getting as much money as we can. And there's parts, lots and lots of parts, I like that. These guys have lasers that don't do much against my EM shield, but if they do get through the EM shield, then they kind of hurt in large doses. Which, of course, they have, because there's a lot of them. They have aircraft now coming into the equation. Fire. And modified Nox class. Uh, 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 you need to move faster. It'd be a harder target. Is there HP restore in here? Yes, there is. Perfect. Go, go, go. Go. I'm stuck on the enemy ships that are sinking. Okay, time to go intercept mode. Screw the accuracy. We'll figure it out some other way. But I'm dying, so this is a necessary measure at this point. Um. Yeah, I had to do something there because I was dying. Uh. I think, um, if you don't have a super duper advanced ship at this point in the game, you should probably just go get the guys and get the hell out, because we have a pretty decent ship for this point in the game, and we're still taking a lot of damage here. So yeah, if you don't have such a good ship, I would just say go get the guys and then leave, because this is kind of crazy. I was going to say let's save that HP restore for later, but by the time I made that decision it was too late, so... Ship this, sink this Albany class ship and get its survivors and finish off that guy. And we need.
need to finish off this guy. There's a carrier. Hi, that seems to be a large carrier. Is that a forestall? Oh, forestall. Modified forestall, nonetheless. I was like, yeah, that's a really big aircraft carrier. What the heck? But that explains a lot. That explains why it's such a massive aircraft carrier. There we go. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Shore based missiles hurt. We've learned that before in other missions, so. Definitely want to stop those, even if it means losing a little bit of accuracy to do it. Okay, we got that guy. We need to get that one. Good. Okay. I think there were more ships down south of me. Maybe. And if that's the case, we're going to go sink them, and then we'll go get the commanders, and then we will be done. Oh, the episode ran long. Whoops, my bad. Anyways, it's fine. I know some people don't mind, but anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry we had to stop at the middle of a mission, but uh, that happens. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time where we will pick up right here.